How to set up the Victron VRM online account so you can monitor your system remotely on the internet. First, go to VictronEnergy.com, click Login, and click VRM. From here, it's going to bring in the login page. And then at the bottom of the login page, click Register for free. And then you're going to get a registration page here where you can fill out all of your information. Once you fill out all of your information here, you're going to click Register. And it's going to say registration completed and you're going to have to go to your email to get a verification email and it's going to look like this here you're going to click it and then this page should pop up here and you're going to see add installation you're going to click the servo gx and then you're going to insert your installation portal id here which can be found on your servo screen by clicking the menu then settings then vrm online portal and then it'll give you a portal ID. And then what you do is you put it in here and you're gonna add your installation name, whatever you wanna name it. So I'm gonna name ours the shop box because this is the system in our shop. And I'm gonna request access. Now once you request access, it's gonna send the administrator, which is me, the installer, an email. And then I'll go ahead and grant you full control of your system. Now, once you have access, you can go ahead and log back in and you should be able to see your installation here on the left. So if you click it, we'll click shop box and it'll bring us to the main screen here. And this is going to tell you all your information about your system. Same thing as the touch 50 screen. And if you click here at the left at the top and you scroll down to remote console down here, you click remote console. And what this does, this is gonna show you the exact screen of the Servo GX. So if you look here, the remote console pops up and it looks just like the screen in your RV. And you can also control this screen just like you would in your RV. So if you X out of that, and you go back to the dashboard here, the main screen, where you have all your, this information, you can also look at some of your historical data here at the bottom. You can kind of look at which day you're looking for here, yesterday, today. You can see the system overview of how much you consume, what your battery percentage was, and if you have any solar coming in. And if you look at system overview, you can look at just the consumption of the past few days or whatever time frame you want to look at. So if you take your mouse and you run over some of these boxes here, it will give you even more information about each one of these components and in the time so if you scroll back here you can see March 5th the battery was down to 20% and March 6th went up to 100% so it'll just tell you more detailed information here you see that our inverters in float mode so to turn your inverter on and off from here you have to first turn it on and give it access so you're gonna click the top right corner and click the settings here and then you'll scroll down to inverter charger control and you're gonna turn this on. And this is gonna give you access to be able to turn the inverter on and off remotely from this VRM portal. So once you got this saved, you're gonna click at the top corner here and go back to remote console. And then once you click remote console, this will pop up. And then from this screen, you're just gonna to wanna to scroll right. And once you scroll, you should be looking at a screen like this. And once you see this screen here, you can go to AC mode and you can now turn the inverter on and off from here. You can also adjust the AC current limit from here as well. If we scroll back to our main screen, you can see our inverter is now off. And to turn it back on, we're just gonna go ahead and scroll back to the screen that we were just at. And we'll go back to AC mode here and just turn it back on. And then scroll back to your main screen and give it a short second here. And then you see your inverter turn on and start inverting again. Now, one thing to remember with the VRM online portal is that you have to have internet access at your RV for this to work. So your servo has to have internet in your RV connected to Wi-Fi so you can actually access it from remote.